Hey guys, uh, welcome back for another Creators Chat Q&A. Uh, this week, God, I keep saying this week. This week. It's never it's this week. It's been five minutes since the last one. <laughs> this week. Anyways, uh, so we're talking about how to stay objective about other people's success. Yes. And how to not use their success to either make yourself feel bad or to make yourself feel good. Yes. Um, it's pretty easy to look at somebody and this is gonna be the gut reaction for a lot of people to see somebody really successful and think, oh God, they got given everything. Yeah, they've they, had it real easy. Everything's been easy about their life. They just happen to be naturally talented at this stuff. They had all the success, they had all these connections, they had all this money, you know. That's why I'm not doing as well as that someone else was given all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And how do you stay objective about that when it's so easy to fall into that trap? Yeah, both to, and like the flip side of that too, to say that, uh, I must suck because that person is doing really well and I'm not. Yeah. Um, staying objective about other people's success is really difficult because a human, like human beings are social creatures and the hierarchy is important to us. We want to be high standing, we want to have good status. Yeah. And sometimes the like success of others can annoy us, it can depress us, it can really mess with us and trying mm -hmm. to stay objective about other people is really, really difficult, yeah. um, in some ways almost unavoidable. I don't think there's anybody out there who has never been A, offended by or B, discouraged by someone else's good fortune. Right. Um, and to an extent, accepting that and understanding that is probably one of the first like steps towards making peace with it. Right. Um, is that what other people are doing usually has little bearing on what you're doing. Um, it's usually um, very difficult to avoid feeling that, but by feeling that and indulging that, the only person you're hurting is yourself. Mm. Um, you, the only way that you can make that fair and not a miserable feeling is by letting go of it yourself. No mm. one else is going to reduce that person's success for you. Yeah. The only way you can make that okay for yourself and have a good time in spite of all that kind of unfairness yeah. um, is to say that it doesn't matter. Right. Um, some people in life just have an easy ride. Mm -hmm. Some people in life look like they're having an easy ride and they're not. Yeah. Um, some people like, you know, it, it just, it doesn't matter what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing you can control is what you're doing. Right. Um, that's yeah, kind of it, my summary of it. It sort of goes to those stoic principles that we've mentioned before of figure out and decide what can you control and what can you not control? Yeah. And guess what? Other people's lives are definitely in the I can't control. Mm -hmm. Unless you're some like world dictator, you probably can't determine <laughs> what their lives are like. Uh, you have the power over what you do. And so what are you going to do? Well, it's obviously not going to benefit you at all to think badly about them. Believe it or not, that's probably not going to motivate you. It's probably not going to make you feel great. <laughs> it feels good for a few seconds it's and then not, it feels pretty sour. <laughs> it's not going to tear them down. Yeah. It's not going to do anything like that. Yeah. It's just going to distract you from what you can do. And what you can do is increase your own odds of success. You can't ever guarantee success. You can't guarantee an outcome, no matter mm. what. You can work you know, 10,000 hours. You can you know, do all the right things. You can set yourself up for all the success in the world and still fail. Yeah. And that's just how life works. Mm. You're not guaranteed in any success. And that, that really sucks. And that's a hard one to come to terms with, mm. that you are not guaranteed fame, you're not guaranteed money, you're not guaranteed any of these things. Odds are, if you put 10,000 hours in, you're gonna be pretty good at something, but they, even that's not necessarily guaranteed. Oh, you, you, know, you might just not practice right and do the right things and, you know, become the master that you want to be. Your life might have made those 10,000 hours really difficult. You've had right. to deal with other kind of grievances during those 10,000 hours and sure. therefore they were less effective than someone else's 10,000 hours, right. which sucks. Yeah. But, but again, these things are just out of your control. Mm -hmm. And so once you focus in and focus in on those things that are in your control, I think that's how you get you know, the power to no longer really care that much about someone else's success or mm -hmm. failure. All of a sudden, those things, while they exist, are outside of your reality. Your reality is what you can do mm -hmm. and what you yourself can choose to do. Yeah, we've been reading a really good book recently, um, Happy by Darren Brown. Um, and he actually, he reframed this in a way that made me feel really silly about look, looking to other people's success with envy. Um, is that we, we have a tendency to feel most jealous or bitter about the successes of people close to us than, mm. um, than like say, we would be more upset by seeing um, 
a colleague get a promotion than by seeing a like pop star earning a hundred thousand dollars extra that year or a million dollars extra yeah. like the the promotion of someone close to us is way more offensive to us than someone who's like way out there doing their thing sure um and that is because we tend to compare ourselves with the people around us and feel entitled to a similar kind of set of life circumstances as the people around us um and therefore if we see someone else being treated better than us in our kind of sphere that usually upsets us way more because we feel way more entitled to that than the million dollar promotion that someone up there got um and that was kind of an interesting thing for me to realize because i realized that most of the things that upset me about other people's success is that i feel annoyed that i haven't had the same thing and i'm like well they don't deserve that like i've worked just as hard i've like i've had this this and this why do they get that um and something about realizing that was super liberating because I can almost laugh at myself for realizing when I'm seeing myself doing it to other people, mm. I realize I'm just a silly human being that's feeling really like competitive and yeah. entitled. Right. Um, and while I, like, I don't want to encourage people to beat themselves up for that, it's kind of nice to be able to laugh it off and realize that's just a completely natural instinct. It's what humans do. Yeah. Um, and just kind of let it go. Yeah. Um, so that was a big turning point for me was just not feeling entitled to the success of people around me. Yeah. Um, that was a good one. That's good. Yeah, I recommend that book, Happy by Darren Brown. Yes, it's really good, good for that kind of it's stuff. Quite good. I like that a lot. Cool. All right. Thanks. Bye.